Where do all the elements come from? Within less than a second after the Big Bang, the temperature had dropped to a moderate 1 trillion degrees, allowing quarks to combine into protons and neutrons. After another few minutes, the temperature had dropped below 1 billion degrees, and the simplest elements could form. Hydrogen and helium. We call this primordial nucleosynthesis, the creation of elements at the dawn of time. Hydrogen and helium are the only elements that could be created in the early universe, and that's why the entire universe is still almost entirely made up of those two. About 74% of the regular mass of the universe is hydrogen, and 25% is helium. Everything else combined is the missing 1%. After a couple hundred million years, gravity began to dominate, contracting clouds of hydrogen gas and creating places of high temperature and nuclear fusion. We call these places stars. Within stars, hydrogen is fused into helium and later in the star's life, even heavier elements can be fused as well. Oxygen, neon, carbon and other important elements. All the way up to iron. Once the star has spent all its fuel, it can go through a cataclysmic explosion called a supernova. This high-energy event both creates even heavier elements and also spreads all the existing elements all around it. And all elements that are heavier than iron are either produced by these supernovae or by neutron capture, both within stars and outside. This may require some rare events like a neutron star kilonova or a high-energy jet from a star. All elements on Earth are produced exactly like this and then captured in the gas cloud that would later create our solar system. Or as Carl Sagan put it, we are made of star stuff. I recently published a video about the Big Bang, linked somewhere here. So if you're interested, you can check it out. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome physics.